Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So for today's workout, we're gonna do a more posterior chain workout. For part one of this workout, we're gonna do every two minutes on the minute. So it'll be 10 minutes, five total rounds. So every other minute, we're gonna start a new round, okay? So for this workout, we're gonna grab a kettlebell if you have it. I will talk after this about some things you could use if you don't have access to a kettlebell. So we're gonna do five reps and one rep is gonna have four different movements. So we're gonna do a deadlift, okay? Focusing on good hinge mechanics here, leading with those hips. So we're gonna deadlift that kettlebell. We're gonna go back to the floor for a full clean. We're gonna go into a squat. And then we're gonna go into one more squat to complete a full thruster. So squat into that overhead position here, all right? So one thing to think about on these movements, and by the way, we're gonna complete five total reps of that within that two minute time frame. When you are done, you have the rest of that two minutes to rest, and then you're gonna to go to set two, all right? But some things to think about, again, on our hinge mechanics here, um, we wanna lead with those hips, right? I'm focusing on keeping those shoulders pulled back so that I have a really good uh, spinal position. So if you look from the side here, that back is nice and flat. My knees are not coming forward, my hips are just going back. So I should feel this load in my hamstrings. Okay, locking those shoulders in, deadlift. We're gonna do the same type of movement here, but we're gonna use a lot more hips to get that weight up for the clean. Good squat mechanic here, so knees out. Again, leading with those hips. All right, and then we're gonna use um, a lot of hips on that thruster. So hips back, good squat. Squeezing those glutes at the top lining up those arms to my ears on that press. We're gonna go five reps, five rounds. If you guys don't have access to a kettlebell, get creative and find some things around your house that you could use. Here is a list of things right here that you could use if you don't have weight. Uh, get creative guys and have fun with this one. All right guys, for part two of this workout, we're gonna do a 12 minute AMRAP. So that's as many rounds and reps as possible as you can get in 12 minutes. We're gonna start with three reps and we're gonna increase the reps by three each round. So we're gonna start with three reps of all three of these movements, then six, then nine. We're gonna go up three reps every round for 12 minutes, okay? So movement number one is gonna be a box jump. If you don't have access to a box, no worries. You can use a park bench, your couch, get creative. But we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate that movement here. So Tyler is going to demonstrate our box jump. He's loading up his hips and he's fully extending at the top of that box jump. So we're trying to land in a good squat stance here, nice soft feet, so really great landing there. And again, fully extending those hips at the top. Perfect, so we're gonna start with three of those. And then we're gonna go into three reverse lunges with a slider. So, you can use a paper plate, you can get creative here, but we're just going into that reverse lunge. Nice job, nice strong core. Good body control here. We're gonna hit three on one side and then three on the other. So the reps here are per leg. Nice work. And then our third movement is gonna be ice skaters. So this isn't an, an explosive movement, right? So we're, ladder, we're jumping laterally, okay? So Kyler is going to push off with that outer foot and then bring that other one behind him. Good. Really great job landing nice and soft here on that foot and then we're just exploding again with that foot. Perfect. So this is going to be three per side, all right, until we increase three reps. So that is the workout. Have fun with this one. 12 minutes. There you go. So if you have wooden floors, what you can do is just kick your shoes off and go in your socks and you'll notice you have a lot of that, um, not traction. Gosh dang it. Nah, just keep recording, it's fine. Um, we'll just go that. Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So for today's workout, we're gonna do a more posterior chain workout. So we're gonna be working a lot of, uh, 